Well, now that the rotisserie is done, I finally got the entire front rust treated. I'm gonna go ahead and POR15 it. And then the smooth sections will just get epoxy primer. We're gonna be tearing out the entire floor in both rocker assemblies, probably inner and outer. I have already ordered all that. But just look how crusty that inner rocker is. This side of the rocker is a three-part assembly. You have the outer, the middle, and the inner. And uh, all three are gonna need to be replaced here. On the side with the sliding door, we have the same problem. So we're gonna be cutting it all out, uh, along with doing a new slider door rail. Once all that is replaced, that will allow us to actually correctly fix this area, as this is the front of the rocker assembly that pokes out through here, so all that's gonna be cut out. So I'm still not quite certain how I'm gonna do this entire sliding door rail repair, but I do know this whole bottom area needs to come off and that the top rail is gonna get reused. Thankfully, the top rail isn't rusty, so we should be good. That is some exhausting work. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, have you guys check out what I've got so far. This is not fun. So these middle I-beam ones are spot welded on both sides. After trial and error, I found that using a thick flathead and hammering it this way between the two spot welds and pulling up, uh, it was the best way to <laughs> get it out. Thankfully, I ordered all three parts of the rocker assembly. As you can see, it's rotten all the way through. And I got Gerson's funky green panel for the side here. I'm not sure if it'll be tall enough to cover where that plug goes, but if it is, I might just cover it. If I could straighten it out, I might keep it, but I'm not sure yet. I've got to figure out how to get the rest of this rocker in, and I am a little worried about how things are all gonna line up when I'm putting it back together. I definitely should have expected for my C-pillar to be rotten though. Uh, so I'm gonna have to order that because I can't, uh, I can't fabricate that. I had to step out to be able to record. <laughs> my, my equipment's overheating uh, just from how much work there has been done. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm losing brain cells. It is just a cloud of dust in there. Without this mask, I'd probably be dead. Gonna let it air out, and then I think I'm done for the day. I'm just gonna go start editing on this and get back to work tomorrow after some well-needed rest. So instead of continuing to cut out parts of the rocker before I've got the new parts in, and also instead of getting covered in rust today, I'm heading on my way to go help Tyler drop his engine. Make sure you stick around, because there is something big coming here soon. We have arrived. There is this beautiful sage green 1978 Westfalia. It's time to get to work.
Got all the electrical cut out or disconnected. We've done our due diligence and it's time to try to drop her. I believe in us. Someone on the sound will be like, oh, I've done this for 30 years and it's not supposed to do that. So we had a good old productive day, about six hours of work, got the engine dropped, did a good old rust patch fix. We've got some more work to do, but I feel like I've got Tyler starting on a good path to get him work on his bus. And now we're going to get back home, clean up. And then you're gonna see the surprise that's in store for you guys. And boy, am I excited. I look like a crazy person just. Am I excited? Yes, I am. Sweet.